Hello, today's devotional is about praying. Praying is a fundamental foundation of every Christian's life. This is the way we talk to God, through prayer, communicating with God our Father. And God wants us to pray and communicate with Him. In Colossians, the first chapter, Paul tells us that he is constantly praying for the saints. So we ought to pray for one another. Even in the scripture, Jesus talked about how he would go to a quiet and lonely place and begin to talk to God the Father. Moreover, in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, verses 16 through 18, Paul tells us to rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God through Christ Jesus for all of us. There are many types of prayers. There are so many that I, I couldn't even begin to name them, but there are some basic prayers that have helped me in my Christian walk. They are prayers of transformation, just asking God to mature me, to mold me into the image of Jesus Christ. There's prayers of petition and intercession. That is when we begin to pray for one another, asking God to meet someone else's needs. Maybe someone needs a healing. Maybe someone needs a financial blessing. But the prayer of intercession is praying for those around you and those you love. Prayer is a supplication, lifting up your own personal needs. There are times that I know I need God to help me to just get through the day sometimes. And sometimes situations happen that are very difficult. So I have to ask God for strength. So that would be my prayer, a supplication. Then there's prayers of thanksgiving. Just showing our gratitude to God for the goodness God has done in our lives. Thanking God for the people around us. Thanking God for all the the things that uh, God has given us, uh, the many blessings, our family, our church home, just being grateful to God. Then there's prayers of confession. Sometimes there are things in our lives that may not be Christ-like and asking God to forgive us and asking God to strengthen us through them so that we may not uh, become fault in them over and over again. But remember, when we do the prayer of confession and we ask God to forgive us, believe that we are forgiven. Many times we don't forgive ourselves. And no matter how many times you falter, no matter how many times you do, ask God for forgiveness and God will forgive us. Now we need to forgive ourselves. This is one of the prayers that I stress to others because we can beat up on ourselves sometimes when we have fallen short. But remember, God always forgives us, so we should forgive ourselves as well. Jesus tells us in John 14, 14, that if we ask anything in his name, God the Father will do it. That's one of the reasons John is my favorite book, because in chapters 14 to 16, Jesus speaks over and over to the disciples that if we ask anything in God's name, in Jesus' name, that God the Father will do it, and he will do it. I used to think to be a good Christian, I had to pray for hours on end. That is not so. I pray early in the morning when I get up, just before my feet hit the floor, I take five to 10 minutes out of my day and just thank God for another day. Thank God to, uh, that I'm able to have a portion of my health and strength. I thank God for my loved ones. And I ask God to let me be a blessing to anyone that I meet. And I just ask God to protect me and, and also to ask God to, to just strengthen me throughout the day. So there's many things that we can ask for it doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out prayer. God knows our heart even before we ask, but he does tell us to ask. So it's important that we talk to God. If we're going to be in relationship with God, prayer is very important. How would you like to invite someone in a relationship with you and just never talk to them? 
that relationship wouldn't go over too well or last too long, would it? But talk to God. This is one of the reasons that Jesus came, so that we could be reunited back to God and have fellowship with God. So prayer is very important. I ask God in the in the day for, for any needs that I might have in my life, the needs that I might have um, in strengthening me, or if I need certain specific things, I, I just ask. We just be specific when we talk to God about the things we want God to do for us. We shouldn't pray amiss, as many would say. But if you need a financial blessing, ask God. If you need a healing, ask God. When I start my day with prayer, the day seems to go so much better. It's important that we talk to God each and every day. So as we begin to think about what we're going to pray for, who we're going to pray for, have faith to know that God will answer our prayers. Let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for all you do for us. Please give us your wisdom to do the things that are pleasing in your sight. Teach us not only to pray, but how to pray and what to pray for. Let us grow closer to you through Jesus Christ, and let us be obedient to the teachings of the Holy Spirit. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer. Praying is so important. So let's talk to our Heavenly Father and know that our God hears us. Amen.